Good day, everyone, and today you're welcome to Setro Craft Channel. I remain Joquette Solu and Setro, a serial entrepreneur majoring in fashion. And today, what are we going to be achieving in less than five minutes, three to five minutes there about what I'll be achieving with how to draft a sweetheart's boat neckline with keyhole, the easiest method. Go nowhere. If you want to know how to do this just in some few minutes, we're going to get this done. And in case you find this video helpful, don't forget to word, give it a thumbs up and share. So let's go right there to the cutting table. Yeah. Okay, right now to draft your sweetheart boat neckline with, with Kio is as easy as here and BNC. This is our origin line. What are you going to be needing? Just your shoulder measurements. So you input your shoulder measurements. You just assume this is what your fabric I'm folding into two. I want to cut this, draft this on, on fold. So this is it. Then you have what input the shoulder measurements. 15 divided by 2 is going to be giving us 7 and a half. This is beginner friendly. Please, advanced people, just bear with us. So, 7 and a half. So, you have your shoulder line. Once you use the calculation, if you don't know how to get this, please, I'm going to leave the link below to uh, the basic bodies. I have the old version, the advanced version, anywhere. I'm going to leave for you. So, you just draw your shoulder line this way. This is the shoulder line. Let's leave this like this. So it's the neckline we just want to achieve. So how do you achieve this sweetheart uh, boat neckline? It's so easy. Just as easy as here at BNC. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is just, I want to achieve this, the boat part of the neckline first. So most times when I want to achieve my boat neckline, what I use, the dimension I use, it's five and a half width, inches width by what? Two inches depth, but now today I'm going to use one and a half inches depth. So it all depends on how curvy to the neck you want it to be. So five and a half inches width by one and a half inches depth, and that's just it. Then you curve with a curve two, just like this. So you do your one inch shoulder slope or shoulder slants, you come down by one inch. On the shoulder line then you do what you connect to the neckline so we have the cano part of the neckline ready right now so the other thing you want to achieve is the sweeter part of the neckline that is going to be you know this cano part of the neckline is going to form like the yoke then the sweeter part of the neckline uh, is going to form the key hole with the yoke so let's just see so easy so what do you do I'm just going to say let me say in haul I want to achieve the neckline. That's the sweeter part of the neckline on six and a half inches depth. It's still same width, six and a half inches depth. So what am I gonna do right now? For that, I'm going to go up by two and a half inches. It all depends on what you want to want. I said it all depends on what you want to want. <laughs> I'm going to go up by two and a half inches. You could go up by two inches. So this is going to form our key hole for us, this portion. So I'm going to come back to that much later. Just wait. So this is our sweeter part of the neckline. So to achieve the sweeter part, I'll just do it from this part, uh, depth of uh, measurements of the neckline. I'll just go up by three quarter inch, three quarter inch. Then I'll move away from the origin also by three quarter inch. So it all depends on you. It all depends on what you want to achieve. You could make it one or half. Then I want to achieve the sweeter part of the neckline. So by the time I get to this point, I just do like the tracing. You see, just to help me achieve the sweeter. Can you see? So we've achieved the sweeter part of the neckline. So we want to just get the keyhole out right now. So what are we going to be needing? You're going to be needing the half portion of your, what's it called? Of your armhole shoulder line. So let, let me say the shoulder line is 7.8 inches. Let me just draw that out. So. 
So you get the midpoints of this. The midpoints will be around here when you fold your tip measure to two. So that's the midpoints there. You see, I've mastered it. So your shoulders look will just be this way. Let me just draw out the shoulders look. To be this way, you go in by what? one inch or three quarter inch please if you don't know how to achieve this i know most of us were so familiar with all this but for the new uh, beginners please just watch the video on the basic bodies and you get along with this so so cool and so so easy so this is the midpoint that we're talking about so from this midpoint right now of the shoulder line what are we going to do we're going to come down by one inch. Remember, we just want to achieve the key hold part of the neckline. So coming down by one inch, remember that we've gone up by two and a half inches. So this is the portion of the key hold. You just do what you just curve with your cobbler and you're good to go. Yeah. And we are good to go. So can you see, it's just as easy as A and B and C. Yeah. So can you see it's so easy? This is uh, the key hole, and this is the sweeter part of the neckline, and this is the keno part of the neckline. So that's just it. It all now depends on maybe you want a normal dad or a princess dad, whatever you want to achieve as part of your body that's what will determine what you're going to add on the hump all points but majorly you're going to work but majorly you're going to trace out the yoke parts this way once you want to cut you trace out the yoke parts then you add the sewing allowance around just half inch or quarter inch or whatever you sew on and then so that you'll be able to achieve your neckline so let's just do it. Let's just cut out right now. So, can you see that? So, so lovely. This is what, this is the cano part of the neckline. This is the keyhole and this is the sweetheart. All just in one neckline. And it's a trendy neckline. I mean, so many persons are wearing it now, right now. So, that's just, it's as easy as A and B and C. Yeah. And that's just how easy it is to achieve your words, to draft your sweetheart's boat neckline with word, with a key hole. And for those of you that have been saying you want to join our free circle class, it's much more available right now. Just reach out to us on our numbers showing below. We have our physical class for Central Fashion School, uh, Central Foundation. We're here all together. And our online classes are still very much on www.centralfashionschool.com. And what a game! 
don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, Stop Share Bread. I have a, a channel, it's called Inspiration by Zaki. Uh, you know, I'm this kind of person that lo loves to talk about what inspires me, motivation, business success, impact. So if you're interested in all this, please do subscribe to my other channel. It's called Inspiration by Zaki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll be doing all the business, growth talk, impact in life, uh, what challenges you face, how you move forward, whatever is happening, and that just it. And so many other things. So catch you. I'll be missing you guys. So let's just, till I come your way next time, I remain Jacket Solo and etc. We'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to keep your joy therapy. Make sure you're always happy. Love you, catch you, bye-bye, yeah.